So I've been wanting to start making videos again for quite a bit now, but I've been very reluctant to do so because I'm kind of mad dude at Street Fighter 6. So on that note, I, I got to Master Rank without thinking. So when I first got into this game, I had a big problem. There's so much to learn and it can easily get overwhelming. Well, problem solving 101. You got a big problem, you cut it down into manageable chunks and you tackle it one by one. And for me, that first chunk is player mechanics, as in, can I press buttons when I want to? Can I execute combos when I want to? Can I react to things and move in a way that let me do all of that? And so after landing in Platinum 4 or 5 with Marissa, I realized this and I decided, okay, let's first target the cheesy, risky ways people tend to try to make their way in and do damage and drill them. So the four main ways that I'm talking about are usually jump-ins, dash-ins, and now with Street Fighter VI, we have drive rush and drive impacts. And also there's like character specific moves that'll skip neutral, but we're gonna ignore those for now. And also the most prevalent, most important way to do this is just by walking and spacing and footsing. But people, people kind of just don't do that for until a much, much later level. So you're gonna ignore that. One thing to note is something I've decided early on for these drills is that I'll drill for dry rush, but not dashins yet. Mainly because they look pretty similar and have the same answers. But if dashin seems to be happening on you quite a bit, definitely start drilling that as well. And the first thing I do is I go to the menu and the shortcut settings. Save status and replay save status will be your best friends. I turn these two on and I set it to two buttons that I'm not using on my controller, which happens to be L2 and LS because I'm using this weird looking leverless right here. So now we have the shortcut setup. If you go back into the game, if you press the shortcut for the save, you'll see a little prompt for the save. And now if you press the load, so playback save state, it's literally just playing back where the game was when you press the save button. So like if I press the jump and do it, and I do a bunch of playbacks, and look at that, look at that. That's how the save and load works. And from here, the first thing I do is with my character, I figure out the spacing I wanna stay at. And usually for me, it's kind of at just outside my max normal range which for Marissa is, I believe, standing heavy kick, or at least this is what I drilled with. So I get to around the max heavy kick range, and then I save state. Let me double check. Perfect. That seems like it's at the max, but let's try tapping back, and it whiffs. All right, now that we got the spacing down, we can start setting up the drill. This is where the magic happens. We go to the menu, recording settings, and then we're going to set up some options properly here first in repeat replay we always set this to always repeat playback replay info display to default which is disabled only on a random playback now at this point we're in the replay section as you can see in this like upper section if you press left now in the record section recording trigger we're going to want to set that to on input so let's actually start recording in slot one for our first drill so now that i've clicked on uh that slot one you'll see in the top left there's a recording thing that says preparing meaning it's not recording yet but the moment i press a button you see those frames go up it's now fully recording so i'm just going to go back press start and then i'm going to click on this slot again to start recording and we're preparing now every single one of our drills i'm going to start with a neutral jump and then the action i'm going to want to drill against the first thing i'm going to record is a jump and move so i'm going to hold up get a neutral jump and as soon as i land i'm going to jump forward into a jump heavy punch and then we have that recording and just to double check i'm going to go over here make sure it's on start replay and look at that look at that ken is constantly doing a neutral jump into a jumping now the beauty here is because we save state to the proper spacing and also we had we turn on that option for always repeat playback the moment we load look at that so now you can just press the button and then do an anti-air, press the button, do an anti-air, get used to that feeling. But if it's just that, it's too easy. So we're going to go back. Slot two. What are we going to do for slot two? Let's do drive impacts. Going to neutral jump and then DI. And now let's double check that that's been recorded properly. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to disable that jump and start replay. The DI has been recorded properly. And of course, the spacing load still works. And of course, the answer is to do a DI back. So now we're at a point if you turn both of them on, start replay and then go back here. It now, because both slots are on, it's going to randomly pick between them every time you press reload. 
Yeah, look at that. So now you can practice with both of them on if you just want to practice these two. Anti-airs or DI. There it is. Reverse DI. Reverse DI one more time. Are you going to jump at me? Mm-hmm. We got two drills down. But let's move on to the next drill, the Drive Rush. So I'm going to set slot three for Drive Rush, Neutral Jump, and Drive Rush. Game. And now from here, I just turned everything off, as you saw. And then I'm going to have to try to figure out what, what can I press to check this. So now we have all three recorded. If you recall, it was a jumping, a drive impact, and a drive rush jab. All right, so let's try this out. DI. Anti-air. Oh, I stuffed it. DI. Mm. Oh, I messed up. But yeah, basically I will just do that and I'll try to, and usually I try to get like 10 in a row. And then after I do that, I'm like, okay, good enough uh, for that day. And something important to do with these drills, when you get the reverse DI, practice getting a combo. Even if it's not an optimal combo, make sure you practice doing something off of that DI. But wait, why did I mention the spacing before? One is the obvious. If I can maintain the spacing that I've drilled at, it's going to be easier for me to, you know, properly react to stuff. But two, if you're at a spacing where you know things are going to whiff for my opponent, it's much easier to whiff punish. So at this range, what I also decided to put into my drills is whiff punishing sweeps into the record. Now it's slot four, neutral jump and then crouch heavy kick. And then at this point, before you start adding into other parts of the drill, really figure out what you're going to do as an answer. The place that I landed with Marissa when I first started doing this is I want to do this, which guarantees a punish counter on with punish, which lets me combo like that. And then I started easy, right? I first turned on the sweep and the jumpins. So now I'm just going to with punish or anti here with punish and here. So after doing that for a while, getting used to it, I would now turn on drive impact again and then try to be consistent with all three options turned on and this is me doing just that and i kept playing the game got better at the drills and i eventually decided to make some optimizations to the drills starting with something to help me with better spacing so up to now i've been reloading at like max distance right i would now be way inside their distance and then every time i reload i need to make sure i'm out of their range and then I go for with punish. Uh, you, but you get my drift. Now I've added some movement, a little bit of realism to the situation. Uh, and we're chilling. And other optimizations I did are like literal damage optimization. So like uh, if the drive impact is on and I get the reverse, at first I would just do combos like this, which is good, right? It's good. Marissa can get a lot more. Eventually, I was watching other people play, and I started doing this combo. Eh, eh, eh. Look at that, 35.90. And, and that's really it. Just by doing these drills, I eventually got to master rank. And as cool as that sounds, it's not a foolproof method. Like, eventually, you're going to develop very strong autopilot reactions, but people can take advantage of that. An example being if you have very strong autopilot anti-airs, a good player might notice and start taking advantage of it by using air trajectory or timing changing moves like DJ's drop knee and Cami's dive kick. And then in that situation, it's up to you to change up and have the ability to stop doing that. But yeah, this is actually how I got my first character to master rank. And once you're at master, you do a ELO system with MR and we all started with 1500 MR and slowly but surely I dropped straight to like 1350. I think I got lowest. I got to like 1310, 1320 MR. It was not great. Seems like I need to move on and start moving on to different strategies. And right here, it's going to be this video as soon as I'm done with it.